Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Wells Knight's Realm. And in today's episode, we're going to be working on a food source. Every village needs a way to sustain themselves. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple of uh, wheat farms and maybe a barn. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So let's go grab some supplies. And we need to decide what we're actually going to make the barn out of. I'm thinking that our best bet is going to be probably oak. Ooh, we're actually running, we're running a little bit low on the oak front. Uh, but I think we'll go oak and spruce for the majority of it. And maybe, maybe some dark oak as well. Hopefully that will be enough. And then, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Uh, oh, and we also need a little bit of cobble so we can extend our pathway. Uh, let's just grab like two stacks. I'll probably need to make a cobblestone hoe. I'm thinking, ooh, and maybe some cobblestone fences. Those might come in handy as well. All right. Uh, now, let's see. Let's take a look from up here and figure out where we want to put this farm. We want to make sure it's a spot where we have ample space. Hmm. Maybe over here, kind of over in that direction. It's fairly flat. Looks like a good, looks like good farmland to me. I think that'd be a good spot for it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. So we'll put the farm over that way. And the barn as well. And I do know that I am going to need these seeds right there. Also some potatoes. And I thought I had some carrots here. Hmm. Maybe not. I thought I had carrots. I could have sworn I had carrots over here. I guess not. Maybe they're they must be back at the uh at my little farm area. I'll have to check on that later. All right. Well, I'm going to get some work done here extending the road. I'm going to uh, get a little bit of the farmland laid out and stuff like that and I will be back in just a moment. All right, guys. I am back and we've got a road. I, I ended up making a whole staircase actually. Because I didn't know that there was this sheer drop here, and I was like, hmm, that would actually be a really good place for a kind of staircase type road. So what we're doing right now is I'm filling in this area with the seeds. Go away, chicken. Leave me alone. There we go. And... Hmm... I think it should still reach. Okay, we need to wall this thing off, like, right now. Um, before the sheep and the chickens and stuff ruin it. There we go. Come here. Come here, chicken. Get out of there. Stay out. This is not your home. You don't belong here. Uh, okay. So let's actually clear a little bit of this away. No sheep. No. No, you are not allowed to be here. The sheep is worrying me. Just, just a tiny bit. I will admit that. I need to figure out... I suppose the best way to keep him out would be to just make this higher than he can get up. Hmm. Except that looks really ugly. Um. No. Oh, sheep. Now you went and ruined my crops. You know what? Mm. But there's not enough sheep. I can't. Grr. Okay. You know what? Oh, now you're making me ruin my crops. Sheep. Sheep, you are causing... You are causing me difficulties. 
Yes. Get out. No. No. Stay. Oh. Ugh. This is problematic. This is quite problematic. How can we make sure that the sheep do not interfere? I suppose... I mean, we can't prevent them from coming up over there. But I suppose we could do something like this. How's that look? That looks really not good. So much for that idea. We'll just do away with this wall. Hmm. I mean, realistically, this is mostly decorative anyway, so I suppose we could just leave it be. We'll maybe put a couple breaks in it like that. And hope that the sheep just don't mess with it too much. So I think the barn is going to go right here. Let's get started on that. Um, I think I probably am going to need a chest. So let's put down... Let's put down the crafting table right there, I guess. That'll work. And then we can dump a pretty significant portion of this stuff over in here. That'll do. Okay. So, barn. Let's make some oak planks. And this doesn't need to be a very large barn. I think this should be enough. We are going to need a double door. Hmm. Actually, this might have to be a fairly... Ooh. This is... Hmm. Let's lay out the door. I mean... Oh, man. I don't know if this is going to be enough space for the barn that I want. How big does this need to be? Probably needs to be seven. Just looking at this. Probably needs to be seven from the front. So maybe we'll turn kind of this whole area over here into farms. And then we'll put the barn somewhere else. Like maybe over in here? Um, which would really work if I do a little bit of terraforming and just bring this whole area up a little bit. That would work beautifully. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to go get some dirt so I can do some terraforming, and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and I've been doing some more work. I've been doing some terraforming over here, and I laid out the front of the barn. We'll have a double door. We'll have a window here, and then this will be the wall that heads back the other way. Now, the problem is that I still need a little bit more space over here. So I'm gonna have to do a little tiny bit more terraforming. That's not a big deal though. Shouldn't take me long. And we don't need a whole lot more clearance. Just maybe that, that it, actually that's enough right there. And now we just need to blend it. And I found that the best way to do that is to kind of create gradual curves like that. Once this all fills in with grass, it will look quite natural, rather than being uh, very flat. So this will work out well. Now, layout of the barn. The way that I'm going to lay this out is I'm going to lay it out based on what actually needs to be inside it. So I'm thinking you walk in and we'll have some animal stalls. So uh, these should probably be big enough, like a six, uh, a two by three like this, six blocks. So, animal stall, wall, animal stall, wall, animal stall, wall. Let's go here. Let's go about there. That, oh man, this barn's going to be bigger than I thought it was going to. But I suppose that's okay. We'll make it work. Um, bring that over here. There we go. So, that's going to be our barn. That thing's going to be huge. Oh, man. I might have bit off more than I can chew on this one. I have a feeling we're not going to have enough oak. Um, That's okay. I can always go get more oak. That's not the end of the world. For now, 
let's get back to work on the barn. And there will be some other materials as well. I mean, ultimately, I'm not going to build the entire thing out of oak, just the walls. So maybe we'll be okay. And I think I've still got, like, another stack of oak, maybe two stacks, back in the lumber warehouse. So I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be fine. Um, let's build this up. Now, I do know that I want a loft. Uh, so this will be the start of the next floor, I think. Yeah, yep, that looks about right. And then we'll want to take this, and then we'll want to basically start forming the roof. And it's going to be a big Dutch gabled roof, just like you would see on a barn, just like we had on my house in uh, season two of my single player series. So let's see, we'll go here, there, like so. Then we'll go over, up to, over, up, over, over. And I think... That's, this is the middle right here. So that should be about right, I think. Let's see. We did over, up. Um, I can't reach that from here, can I? Um, then we did up, over, and... Yeah, just like that. All right, let's go take a look at that roof shape. That looks about right. It'll look better if we pull her up. You'll get a better idea of what the shape looks like if we take out these blocks that are just kind of there at the moment. Let's see. Oh. Oh my. That is... That is quite incorrect. <laughs> oh man. Alright, well, we better fix that. Because that... Oh man. I derped that one up. And I derped that one up in a extremely special way. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's better. That's much better. Okay. Now, would it be better if we did... Let's see, over, up, over, up. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think that looks good. Uh, and once we actually apply the wood to it, then it will really look the way that it's supposed to. So, let's go ahead and work on that. Over, up, up. Over, up, up, like that, okay, and then here, uh, wait a minute, oh, I fell again, there we go, yeah, so this needs to go, here, and there. There we go. So I think those should now match up. And I think that's everything that we actually need to do in oak. And that does look about right. So I'm going to go get this filled in. I'm going to do some work on the roof, guys. And I'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and that is what the roof is going to look like once it's done. Now, this will all be filled in, so it will look much better as far as the rest of the place goes. But that should at least give you a pretty good idea of how the roof is going to look. And I quite like it. So, let's go ahead and build up this side. I wanted to make sure I got the shape right on the other side 
before I came over here to try it back out. So basically what we're doing here is we're just kind of following this outline like so. And wait a minute. Nope, 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 nope. Upside down stair there. Normal stair there. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so once again, we're just following the outline. And whenever we're changing angles from going up to going over, or vice versa, we are putting down a stair so that the transition looks like it makes sense. Oop. And that one I derped up as well. Upside down stair, normal stair. Let's take a look. Yep. Looks just the way that I want it to. And it will look much better once we actually go ahead, take our oak planks, and fill in the rest of that wall. So let's go ahead and just, let's, let's do that right now. Um, otherwise, it's going to be very hard for you guys to really kind of get a good idea of what the place is going to look like. So, we'll just do a little bit of this. There we go. And there's our big barn roof shape, which is what we want. And it looks fabulous, if I do say so myself. Can I make that? Oh, I can. Look at those mad parkour skills. Look at those mad skills. I am a parkour professional. Beautiful. Okay, so you got our oak filled in. We're good there. Now we need to put a roof on this. And then we can start worrying about the interior shape. So, for the roof, I'm leaning very heavily towards spruce wood. I do know that I'm going to need quite a lot of spruce. Um, and quite a lot of spruce fences. Or, not fences, stairs. Um, I think that'll be enough. It should be. It'll be close, but I think that, I, I'm pretty sure that'll be enough. Okay, so let's start putting this down. And I'm going once again with spruce here because it's a darker color than the actual, uh, it's a darker color than the normal oak, but it's lighter than the dark oak, so we can use the dark oak basically as a trim to give it a little bit of extra detail and shape, and then the uh, spruce will still contract, contrast <laughs> with the normal oak, and uh, it should look pretty good. Should look pretty good once it's all done. And here what we're doing is we're basically just mirroring this trim this outline that we laid down a minute ago because it's much easier to make sure you have the shape right if you lay down the outer edges first and then basically uh, essentially just connect the lines. It's much easier to do that than it is to try and wing uh, the whole roof as you go along, at least for me in any case. I prefer this method. And yeah, we will definitely have enough oak uh, or spruce stairs to complete this job the way that we should be. Okay, good, good, good. I was worried there that I wasn't going to have enough. So let's come on down here, and we'll put down our spruce planks like that. And then we'll do a little bit of this action. Good stuff. You guys, I'm assuming, for those of you that are following along and building this with me, I'm assuming that you guys have the idea by now. So I'm gonna finish this up, and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back. Look at that roof. That looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. That looks pretty good indeed. Although, I am considering taking this black and bringing it across the top. Or not the black, the dark oak. I am considering taking those dark oak stairs all the way over. How's it look from over here? Hmm, I think it looks fine, actually. I think it's fine like this. This'll do. Okay. 
Now, interior. Let's put down some torches just to kind of light it up a little bit. This needs to be a floor. So, spruce I have. Good, good, good. We're going to do the floors in here, I think. With... Mm, let's not make that much. Let's not overdo it. I have a feeling I'm still going to want some spruce stairs uh, as we go through. In fact, I actually want those spruce stairs, like, right now. And I don't have any in here. So, let's make some. And hope that this is enough. I think it will be. So we're gonna go and put down spruce stairs like this. And like... That. And yes, it is enough. Good, good, good. Okay. Then we'll fill this in. Like so. And that is going to make up our loft. Because every barn that I have ever seen, and I've seen a lot of barns because I live in Wisconsin, which is basically like the largest farming region <laughs> of the United States, at least as far as uh, dairy cattle and stuff like that goes, every barn I have ever seen has a loft in it for extra storage. So I think we'll put maybe a couple of ladders there leading up. And then I'm going to take some dark oak wood. And we're going to run some cross beams. Maybe here. Is that in two? That's in two. So... Like this. And then... Another right there. Yeah, that should work nicely. And it will give it a really nice effect, too. Because there's a very slight... Difference... In depth. Which this will create. And that'll make it look pretty good. So you got those kind of support beams up here. Looking fantastic, I, if I do say so myself. Now, let's go ahead and tear out the floor in here. There we go. Get rid of this. Go away, floor. And now it's probably really dark and you can't see anything. So let's torch this up a little bit so you guys can actually see what's going on. There we go. And then... We're gonna do spruce... For the floors as well. We'll use spruce slabs just to kind of save on resources a little bit. Uh, because I am running a bit low on some of these, without a doubt. So I'd like to save... As much of my spruce as I possibly can. Uh, really don't want to go farming more spruce before the end of the episode. That just doesn't sound like a fun time. And it's dark. Quite dark. Um. Leave me alone, zombie. I see you. Are you going to be nice and leave me alone? I'm not going to hurt you if you don't hurt me. Is it a deal? I'm glad we could come to an agreement. All right. So, let's go ahead and finish filling that in. There we go. We got ourselves a barn. We do need some ladders. I'll put a crafting table here, I guess. And let's just make... How many ladders do I need? One, two, three, four, four times two is eight. So I need three sets of these. There we go. And we'll just do that. That will do. Okay. So we still need to get our animal pens in here. We still need to get our storage in here. We definitely need some lighting in here, so just, just temporarily, I promise it's only temporary, guys, we're gonna torch spam. We're gonna torch spam right here. I hate to do it. 
But sometimes, as much as I dis despise Torch Spam, sometimes Torch Spam is indeed a necessary evil. And then, we can do something like that, maybe, for the loft. How's that look? Is that going to be big enough? I think so. I think that should work. We could maybe even do the same over here. We'll take a look at it from out front. Where'd you steal my blo- Are you stealing my blocks? He was stealing my blocks. Oh, that's a creeper. Oh, that is a creeper. Tell me I have my bow. My bow? I do not have my bow. Of course. Why would I carry my bow with me? Oh, I know where it is. It's in the chest. Get out of here, creeper. Don't explode. Don't explode. Creeper's dead. Oh, zombies run super fast when they're on fire? Was this a mechanic that I was just never made aware of? I guess so. I want my bow. Give it to my... Give it... Give me my bow. Just in case. My super-powered bow. This thing is a beast. Truly a beast. Power 4, infinity, flame, all sorts of craziness. Look at that thing. Goodbye. Oh. I probably could have just slept in McIntyre's house, and I didn't even think of it. I came all the way back up here. Out of habit, I guess. Whatever. It doesn't even matter. Alright, let's go take a look at this barn during the day, now that all the creepy crawlies and the nasties have gone away. Dude, got him. Okay. I'm only worried about the creepers. I don't want to get, uh, you know, blown up. And there's an enderman on my house. Better not be stealing the blocks to my house. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. It definitely needs some more detail in some places. We'll need to do something with this, add some windows, uh, add some additional stuff like that. But all in all, we've definitely got a pretty good starting point on this thing. I will say that much for sure. And there's a creeper hiding back there. You think you can hide? You can't. You cannot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. So if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time.